if I say having this crown on my head, it's all me, I would have lied. A uh, special shout out to Campus Confessions, yo, this is the one and only Albert Asiri Einstein, CEO of the White Saint. Mm, check what I'm wearing right now. It's written Oyos. Ask me anything. 0712-985-427. So the procedure is like this. You ask on that number anything that you want. Could my chat square with you guys? Could WhatsApp? You ask anything that you want. That's why it is written. Ask me anything. So the moment you ask anything that you want, it gives you the first answer. Of course, yes. If you ask again the same question, it will give you a different answer now, but of the same question. Are you getting it? So Oyos is making life easier for students out there and most of the people out there in the community. So. As it always been said, every kingdom needs a queen and right now I am graced with a beautiful queen and she is the one and only, oh my word, <laughs> honored to be here. Hi viewers, my name is Karen Katsande, a second year student currently studying creative design, animation and motion graphics. I am the current Miss University of Zimbabwe 2023. Besides that, I am a self-taught slash tech and an art enthusiast. Mm. Okay, so tell me, what more in the specialties of arts do you really enjoy doing? Fine arts. Fine arts. I fine paint. Arts? I paint and draw. Really? Yes. Some artworks that I even have sold so far. Wow. Just a few though. Wow. So probably after the show you can paint me. Exactly. And make sure it's worth more hundred bucks. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely. So tell me um, the journey of you doing this Miss you said. Was it something that you always wanted since you were like a first year student or it's something that you were like ah you know what I'm gonna try this because pretty much you have a great personality oh. like, like your smell is just so ah, I'm really enticed I really want to know so tell me more about that well I have gotten into a few pageants back in high school oh. I landed Chinoy High School just two I think and in those uh, pageants that I've competed mm -hmm. I won but then being in the Miss University of Zimbabwe, it wasn't something that drove me a self-driven agenda, but it was mostly derived from my peers and my classmates who were like, you know what, you have all what it takes and everything. Just go on audition, you never know. I was very skeptical at first, but you know, at the last minute I was like, you know what, we only live once. Exactly. What's there to lose? Okay, so <laughs> out there. Yeah. So it was something that you wanted to try it, and now here we are. Yeah. She's <laughs> crowned Miss Personality, and she's also Miss Z. That's some great stuff. I really want to know, like, like during the time there was some pressures. I mean, I could feel it too, cause yeah. we, we were together. <laughs> By the way, we were together. <laughs> We were to get in the finals. There yes. was some point where, but there's a lot of pressure, mm -hmm. and at some point, me, I couldn't handle it. But I would wanna know how you did it. How did you succumb to pressure? The people who supported you to keep on going to the day mm -hmm. you were crowned. Okay. To begin with, um, when I auditioned, like the first first auditions, mm -hmm. I didn't even tell anyone that I'm going. <laughs> you went ghost. <laughs> I, yeah, exactly. I actually began, began to tell people, especially my mom, I first told my mom after I got into the first 25 that I went on an audition, I mean the first 25, maybe I can make something out of it. Okay. Then that's when I got started getting the support that I needed from peers, you know, family members and whatnot. And within the pressure of the whole process, you know, Coach Onisha, she would make sure that she will groove you into this perfectionist yeah. person and all that so if you knew that you have your own lurking personality in terms of if your posture isn't right if you're not vocal enough yeah she'll and make also, sure that <laughs> yeah and also yeah. management of time she yeah. was a really professional person on yeah. that time mm -hmm. yeah so basically you on, on you, you say you told us of who you are but People also want to know, besides, besides the 
the newly crowned the title of Miss UZ. Who were you before that? I was just a regular student. Uh -uh, uh -uh. <laughs> I am telling you. <laughs> just a regular student whereby, you know, I'll just come for my lectures, submit my projects, and, you know, just do my lash. Uh, as I mentioned, I'm a lash tech. So, obviously, I have a few clients that once their lashes done, I would come if they are client if they are campus based I would go if they're town based I would go to their location and also my artworks you know within my spare time just do my own artworks and see if they are good enough to be sold or anything of the sort okay that's it from the queen she has said a bit about herself tune up for more as I get deep into the juicy details you know I got you that's why Miss Pokemon Pie and I always got your back see you guys Still with the queen, and she's always the queen. Look at her smiling. Uh -huh. Oh my! <laughs> yes, I love your smile, girl. Thank so, you. now you have this title, Miss Is it only is it only for you for the public figure? Because right now you're now a brand ambassador of the University of Zimbabwe, mind you. Oh. If you didn't know, yeah. Oh, don't say oh, yeah. You know, you are not the brand ambassador. Mm -hmm. So tell me, uh, people who do you wanna work with or things you wanna associate yourself with? Because you are not the big deal. Okay. Um, from the start of the whole thing, when you come into the modeling industry, particularly the University of Zimbabwe um, modeling, mm -hmm. you have a mission statement. It's a guideline of what the motives that you want to work with when you are crowned the queen. Mm -hmm. And my motive, my mission statement was to target um, mental deterioration caused by social media backlashing and body shaming. So yeah, so I have to blend my mission statement with the theme of the competition, which was creative hope in the world. So what hope do you want to create in the world? What particular people are you focusing on in creating hope? Because right now, as we look at the youth, mm -hmm. in terms of women, we are facing a lot. Not only women, but the youth in general, we are facing a lot. And we would really want someone of us who's been with us to be out there representing us and creating that hope not only a person who just be there and saying it's going to be all right to be just like 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 but then we don't see the impact so how are you planning to work all those things out and walk through it okay i believe i am a girl who's relatable in some of the situations that happen in the society mm -hmm. well for starters i live in mufakwasi you know, move from the, <laughs> the ghetto. The ghetto. <laughs> you understand, ghetto. <laughs> and I have seen and also have been in some situations whereby, if you think if I'm in a higher position to be able to change ABC, you would because you were in that situation yeah. or you have seen a person be in a, a certain situation. Okay, and I believe now that I have draw such an audience. I now have the capability of also engaging with other companies and other brands whereby they can help me, my motive, because I'm mostly driven by charity work. Okay. So if I can partner up with this, this one called um, the Michael Effect, they help with, you know, the orphanages and the homes whereby they gather up donations and they go and they, you know, distribute them to the less fortunate and orphanage homes. So I, you know, I, I was fortunate enough to engage with them um, the day before yesterday wow. at the career fair mm -hmm. and they are so excited to be collaborating with me in the near future. And also I spoke to um, Claxon. It's an organization whereby it teaches women financial literacy and entrepreneurship skills and we need that. so I really have a few things lined up in which if I can be able to expand my connections everything will run smoothly so you were talking of people you are, who are already you want to work with what yes. about in terms of brands like I know <laughs> I know there's that one you like ah but in any brand I need one so which brands would you want to work with is it I'd like to work with Croco Motors, mm. Econet, mm. 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 Hatch Peking mm. Chang, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yes, and um, the Nash, Nash TV studios. On Croco Motors, what's your, which, which one is your big crash car? Like, 
I feel like <laughs> uh, you, you win, maybe there's somebody watching who wants to sponsor you. I mean, <laughs> I won't say names. Names are political, by the way. I I keep my vow to the winner. <laughs> ah, I keep it. Maybe they want to sponsor you. So which one is your dream car? Say it. We wanna know. I mean. Girls have a crush on the Mercedes. <laughs> that if you say something else, how they put yes. that kind of like girl? No, <laughs> <laughs> you are in the wrong path. So yes, you heard it from her, and she is doing very well. I like one thing about this lady. She's not only beauty, but she's beauty with brains, and she's willing to work with the less fortunate people in society. Not all of women in pageants want to work with her, cause. Most people when they are famous, they just know up in their, themselves and they just want to do things for themselves. <laughs> so, <coughs> this this part I'm going to dive in, probably I'm going to remove you a bit from your comfort zone, but <laughs> please, with, you granted me the permission, so it's okay. <laughs> so, um... I, I have been checking it out on the comment section. Oh my, oh my. And uh, <laughs> people, people, some people, I don't know, people are a bit bitter. Mm-hmm. Uh, so allegedly somebody, allegedly somebody said, ah, uh, she won, uh, she might have slept with some of the judge. And I was like, yeah, you know, this one I'll hold it and I'll ask her in person. So how are you taking out this negativity comments on camp, on 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 social media i mean how are you dealing especially with that comment i mean we we all know personally i all know you worked for this mm -hmm. i've been seeing you we were together in the competition you worked so hard yes. so for you to hear such a comment saying that you slept with the judge for you to get two titles yes. how is it doing with you well if you'd want to see the history of miss university pageant mm -hmm. ayanda candace went through the same thing Kuzima Tisha went through the same thing uh -huh. and why is pay me? I mean it's going to go on the next queen is going to be you know make made accusations pertain at the most but it's all about how you are going to react to the situation and how are you going to you know better fight that situation because backlashing in social media has been a thing that has been going on you know even if it's about weight loss even if it's about what and what and it has caused you know mental deterioration like the mission statement that i'm so it's actually a stepping stone actually i'll use it to my advantage that you know what despite the backlashing in social media what are you gonna do about it so it's mostly about your attitude towards the comment section i mean people are gonna talk this is not going to be the first time. People are going to okay. talk in the future. And, you know, there's life after Miss University of but, Zimbabwe. Um, but, but I feel like you need to respond to the girl who said you didn't have nails. Because today you look Oprah with her. Show her. She, she has all her nails done, okay? She has all her nails done. So please, people. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> that one was hilarious. Exactly. So we'll be back, guys. Sit tight. And we are not yet done. See you. Love you all.